alcohol and anger were a bad mix. She just continued to keep disrespecting me. Then this party of four became a battle between two. I'm like, if you hit me, I'm going to hit you with this bottle. He said, that bottle's not going to stop me. I said, my car will. And then what happened? She came back around like she was going to hit me. What are you hanging around with these young people for? Age ain't nothing but a number. Yeah, I say that all the time, but it's not true. <laughs> Judge Judy. Ms. Warcock, it is your claim that Mr. Owens vandalized your car when he was drunk. Mr. Owens says that he was merely defending himself because you were trying to run him over with your car. Mr. Owens, how do you know the plaintiff? Um, through a friend. Do you hang out with the same people? Yes. How old is your friend? Uh, late 50s, early 60s. How old are you? I'm 42. Do you know how old the plaintiff is? No. How old are you? I'm 22. And is this also a friend that you hang out with? Yes. Do you know how old she is? Mid-20s, I guess. How old are you? I'm 27. Did you ever have any negative interaction with the plaintiff before the date of this incident? Mm, not that I recall. We, we're not really associates. This happened on November the 3rd. Had you been drinking? No. I don't drink. At all? No. Do you want to tell me what happened on November 3rd? We were all hanging out. Where? We were in her car and we were just driving. How many people were in the car? Us four. Mm. Who was driving? She was. Had she picked you up? Yes. At your home? No, I believe it was at a park, maybe. I can't, I, I can't really exactly recall the details, but, yeah, she picked us up. Picked who up? She picked me up, the, us three, me, Reginald, and Laura. I, I believe so. I can't really recall the exact details of it, but I believe... Well, you it. should be able to recall the details. Sir, you have a counterclaim, and the counterclaim is she try to run you over. If you can't recall what happened that evening, then it's going to be hard for you to recall the details of your counterclaim. Yes. So, I assume that your faulty memory, since it's not attributed to drinking, had to be attributed to something else. You don't know where she picked you up? Um, we you was don't at the know exactly who was in the car? I know exactly who was in the car. And then what happened? We were driving, I guess. We, we were trying to figure out where we were going to go or what we were going to get involved into that night. And? And she was driving very erratic, and I didn't feel comfortable being in the car. And she was driving very erratic. I didn't feel comfortable in the car. And she went to go get some gas. And at the gas station, she hit someone. You mean their car or a person? A, a car. She backed into a car. And at that point, I was just really uncomfortable with being in the car. So when I got the chance, she had stopped. And I got out of the car and left the situation. Okay. I went to a park where we usually hang out at. Is that the park where she picked you up? No, no, no. This, was, this wasn't at the park that she picked me up at, no. This was at a different park. And you got to that park on foot? Yes. And? And she came to the park. With the three people in the car, herself, your witness, and the other witness. So then now there were three people in the car. Go ahead. Now, she, yes. As I... Stop when I shaking your head. It's annoying. I'm sorry. It's annoying. Then I'm stop sorry. doing it. Sorry. Sorry. When, when I left them, I, had, I called her phone. Laura, I called her phone. And when, she, when I called her phone, she answered her phone. And when she answered her phone, I was wondering kind of like why she answered her phone. But when she answered her phone, she, um, she, called me a, she called me a homosexual for some reason, just out the clear blue. And I, I asked her, why did she disrespect me in that way? We're not friends. We're not associates. I don't play with her in that form of manner. And uh, she just continued to keep disrespecting me. So I hung up the phone, and she came to the park where I was at, I guess, to drop the passengers off. And she continued to disrespect me. So I confronted her about it, and I asked her, why are you continuing to keep disrespecting me? And she just kept getting loud and loud, and I just wanted to leave the situation alone. So I walked off, me and her witness that she has with her walked off. And she jumped in her car. I thought she was leaving, but she came back around like she was going to hit me. And when she came back around, tried to, tried, like she was to hit me, she turned the car, and I jumped and braced myself, and I put my hands down on her windshield. Like, the car's coming to me, and I, I jumped like this here, and that's how her windshield got cracked. But she was coming towards me like she was going to hit me. Did you jump up on the hood of her car? Is that how you got to her windshield? How do you get to the windshield? <laughs> Unless you're coming from the side, you have to put your full body on the front end of the car in order to get to the windshield. How did you do that? As she was coming towards me, she turned her car, and it was, her car was it was sliding towards me. It was coming towards me, and I jumped up on the windshield. Like, she was coming, and she turned... You jumped her. up on just the windshield? I just put my hands down and braced myself on the windshield. Okay. Very good. 